Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. This video is a part of the miscellaneous series and in this video we are going to talk about how to use a function that has two independent variables or we can say a 2D function or it has two spatial coordinate axes. So without any further delay, let us just start with the topic. So initially the idea is to generate a 2D function and for that what I have done is I have written a simple MATLAB code from where I can generate a function so you can see I have taken two for loops and I is running from 1 to 100 similarly J is running from 1 to 100 so if we run this 100 by 100 loop so we can generate 100 into 100 data and how the data is Related the data P say any variable the dependent variable is equal to I plus J so This is a very simple function. I have generated and then what we are printing. We are printing I J against P So P is nothing but I plus J and that we are printing in a data file. So if I run this particular code, then I will generate a data and the data is generated in the file I have kept my MATLAB file so I have kept my MATLAB file here so you can see we have generated a data and in the data we have this many numbers so as I have mentioned there will be 100 by 100 data now we go to COMSOL so our data is generated now I go to COMSOL as it's a 2D data, we go for 2D and for the purpose of understanding, let us take heat transfer in solid then let us take time dependent solution so we'll be solving for heat transfer in solid a common problem which I have, I have taken several times now let me make the geometry in millimeter uh, because it gives you good compatibility when we are solving for temperature dependent equations now I take a square say 100 millimeter why 100 because in the data file if you remember I was varying from 1 to 100 and J was also varying from 1 to 100 that's why we are taking 100 mm by 100 mm now in the material I can choose a solid material so this copper I can choose for the time being yeah copper is added so let me just reset it okay so copper is added now what I do is I go to definition and right click on definition and in the function I choose interpolation I have already talked about interpolation however in this particular video we are dealing with 2d functions that means a function that has x and y two variables or the data is for a particular plane suppose this is a plane in this plane if I take any particular point it will have a particular x and y coordinate and say a dependent variable has certain value at different coordinates so let me go to the option file and then I browse and choose the data file that we have created by MATLAB now this is how the data looks you can see it is I plus J so uh, as it is I plus J maximum value is 200 you can see here and the 200 is when both x and y are 100 so it is here this point and it is minimum at 0 0 because 0 plus 0 is 0 and it is actually increasing this way so this is the function now this particular function you have to tell there are two arguments that is x and y now what are what are the units of those arguments we are taking in millimeter if you remember in the geometry i have taken millimeter now in the function say this is temperature in Kelvin because we are solving for heat transfer now I go to initial values and instead of a constant value let me put int1xy why int1xy 
because the name of this function is int1 if you see int1 and y x y because there are two arguments then those arguments are x and y and that's why it is int1 x y now yeah everything i remain as it is now i go to mesh let me work with extra fine mesh this is fine now what i do is time scale is very important because you know uh, heat transfer through a solid which is a conducting material that is, that is, that doesn't take much of time so i have my previous experience of uh, how much time it can take for the unsteady heat flow and from that experience i am just choosing say 1 e minus 4 and say this is going up to say 4 e minus 3 just for an example and then i click on compute so it will take some time to generate the result it is almost done now if you see the transfer profile heat transfer profile initially it was like this and as you move you see there is a difference in profile and see at this zone you have higher temperature so heat will flow from this zone to this zone and it will try to equilibrate so if I show you at a higher time you can see there is a change in the flow the time scale we can change a bit let's say in the order of minus 2 we can take or in the order of minus 1 now I compute again I am changing the time scale so that I can look at the heat transfer profile nicely yeah it is taking some time almost done yes it is done now now if you look at I have now multiple time scales so this is the initial and let me initiate let me see the final one see this is the final profile so heat is being transferred and that is why the temperature profile is trying to equilibrate so profile is not important the important thing was how we can actually use a 2d function to solve original cases so i hope after you watch this video you will be comfortable using your own function whether it is 2d 3d you can actually put if you need a, a three dimensional function then you have three arguments x y and z and then you can have four columns so i'll come to that also in a separate video i'll be talking about 3d function so today i stop here uh, meanwhile i request you to subscribe to my channel we are also working on engineering mathematics we are working on python so i request you to watch those videos